Hello, my name is Mr. Rollins, and I'm here to give you a brief overview of investigative biology, a class that we teach here at Bamer High School. So what I'd like to do is share with you a screen that has our state standards listed. So this is from uh, our ODE website. And biology is divided into four major strands that we cover or topics. And it's kind of nice because we have four or nine weeks in our grade, in our school year. So we try to divide these topics into about a nine week period. The first topic is on heredity. We will study things like genetics, DNA, uh, how traits are passed from one generation to the next, mutations, how all of that works. A second strand is on evolution, how natural selection affects uh, populations, how mutations can affect populations, and genetic drift and gene flow will be studied as well. It's a second major strand. If we scroll down here. Uh, a third major strand is diversity and interdependence of life. This is where we would study genetic diversity and species diversity. We learn about taxonomy in this uh, section, which we will be doing uh, leaf collection this year in order to learn about how classification works. We are not gonna do an insect collection because of our current situation. So if we have to shut down uh, school to go to remote learning, leaf collections are much easier for students to do, so we can still do that. So we are going to not do insect collections this year, but we're still gonna learn about the same principles in taxonomy and classification and how that works. Also extinction and climate change and those kind of topics would fit into that strand. And then our last strand is on cells, the structure and function of cells, how cells work and how they're the foundation for all living things on earth. That's kind of just a brief overview of the different uh, topics that we'll be covering in investigative biology. This is a course that most students need credit for graduate this will be their life science credit so it's important that kids do their work so they can pass this course and be on track for graduation so uh, that's a brief overview hopefully uh, that helps under you understand what the class is going to be covering if we are in school we usually do a dissection series uh, when we cover anatomy and how the difference between uh, organisms and some of their structures so we will plan on doing that if that works out um, that's one of the things we also try to cover as well but that's just a brief overview if you have any questions please feel free to contact me uh, through my school email c underscore rollins at vwcs.net thank you